Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be changing the rear brake pads on this uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Charisma. Right, so in order to remove the caliper to change the brake pads, we'll have to remove two bolts, one at the top here and one at the bottom here. They both are 13 mil uh, bolts. Right, so in order to remove the bolts, we're going to be using a 13 mil spanner. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock the actual uh, guide pin with 17 mil socket and then uh, we're going to be using a 13 mil spanner to undo the undo the bolt There we go, that's the top bolt out of the way. Right, so just gonna undo the bottom one now. Right, there we go, that's the bottom uh, bolt out of the way. Right, so we're going to use a flathead screwdriver to pull the caliper out. There we go. That's the caliper. That's the caliper out of the way. So the next we're gonna do is just gonna remove the brake pads. You can see how bad they are. Completely worn out. Down to bare metal. Right, so the next bit we're gonna do is to wind the caliper in. So we're gonna use a special uh, caliper winding tool to wind it back we're going to be using this special uh, brake caliper rewinding uh, tool to wind the piston back so the way we're going to do it is we're going to tighten the tighten this bit first and then with one hand Gonna hold on to the caliper and that's how we're gonna push it into the back. A little bit more to wind back. There we go. There we go. That's the piston completely pushed pushed back so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna clean the area where the brake pads gonna sit There we go. That's the brake uh, pads uh, guide 
rail nicely cleaned from inside from inside and outside so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull these uh, caliper guide pins out there we go just gonna give it a good clean just gonna re-grease it There we go. Just going to push it in. We're going to pull the top top pin. There we go. Just going to give it a good clean before I apply fresh grease on it. And we're using high temperature the special grease on them. There we go. There we go. That's that done. We've got these uh, brake pads from our local shop for £15, so that's what we're going to get. There we go. So before we fit them, we're going to apply grease on the arms here, here and there, on both inside and outside pads, just a little bit, not too much. There we go, that's good enough. So we're going to do the same on this side, just going to dab a little bit, just here. So this is the inner pad, so that's just going to slide in here, just like that. Now the outer pad. Just gonna dab a little bit of grease here. Make sure that nothing goes on to the brake pads. There we go. Now this side, just a little bit, not too much. There we go. Okay. Nice and easy. There we go. So the next bit we're going to do is to fit the caliper itself. Right, so the bolt goes in like this, 13 mil bolt, which is the top one. I haven't tightened it yet, I'm going to do it uh, once, uh, once the caliper is in line. There we go. So that was 13 mil bolt. So we're gonna use a 13 mil spanner to tighten the caliper bolts. Just gonna do the bottom one now.
There we go. That's the, that's the bottom pin nicely tightened. Just going to tighten the top one. Just going to lock it in place. There we go. That's that then. Right, here we go, friends. Uh, I've fitted the new pads on this uh, Mitsubishi Charisma Lancer. Hopefully this video is going to help you to change yours. Thank you very much for watching the video.